hello friends in the previous video uh, we learned the limit of a function and we learned that for limit of a function to exist the three conditions are important the left hand limit the right hand limit should exist and not only that but the left hand limit and the right hand limit should be equal and we also discussed that if at least one of these conditions is not satisfied then the limit does not exist and we discussed the case one case one was limit the left hand limit is not equal to right hand limit we discussed two examples on case one now in this video we shall be discussing the second case when limit uh, x approached a positive apex does not exist so here is second case Okay, second. So here is second case when a limit x approach to a positive f of x does not exist. In order to understand this condition, uh, let me consider an example. So here is an example, and this is example one. As an example, we shall take apex equals one by x, where x is greater than zero, and we shall examine limit x approach to zero positive apex. In order to examine limit x approach 0 positive fx, let me draw the graph of this function. The graph of this function, the graph of this function is something like this. This here x axis, this here y axis, and this curve represents the graph of this function. We see that at 1 it's 1, at 1 by 2 it will be 2 here at 1 by 3 to 3 and as we go close to 0 the function goes on increasing increasing so when we go close to 0 from right to left the function goes on increasing increasing if we take 1 by 10 the function is 10 if we take 1 by 100 the function is 100 and so on so as we go close to 0 from the right to left the function goes on increasing increasing approach to infinity so that means that limit x approach to 0 and positive fx equals infinity and in other words does not exist and to be more precise it does not exist finitely in order to get it better and get more grip on what I am saying let's consider the following table in this table let me take axis here and let me take f of axis here so let me take axis which are close to 0 and let me look at what is the value of f of x at the, those points so the first point I shall take here 1 by 2 now since f x is defined as 1 by x so it will be 1 by 1 by 2 so f x will be 2 second point I will take as 1 by 10 the function value will be just 10 third point 1 by 1000 the function value will be just 1000 fourth point 1 by 10,000 the function value will be just 10,000 so more we go close to zero more this point uh, this function apex is getting close to infinity so in other words we can say that limit x goes to zero positive apex equals infinity and hence does not exist finitely So we see that at the point 0 the limit of the function does not exist and it is clear from the graph that at point 0 the graph has an abrupt rise. 
so we can get from there that whenever a gap graph has an abrupt rise at a point then the limit at that point does not exist but this is not the only case where the limit or to be more precise the right hand limit is infinity or does not exist finitely even if there is an abrupt fall rather than rather than an abrupt rise the limit still does not exist in order to understand that let me consider another example so as a second example we shall consider the following function we shall consider apex equals 1 by x minus 1 by x where x is greater than 0 and we shall examine limit x approach to 0 positive fx if you look at the graph of this function the graph of the function will be something like this so this is the graph of the function this is here x axis this is here y axis we see that if we plug in 1 here then it will be minus 1 by 1 that will be minus 1 so the point corresponding to 1 will be just to minus 1 as we go increasing the points here 2 3 4 the function values will be minus 1 by 2 here minus 1 by 3 here and so on but as we go close to 0 this 0 here as we go close to 0 from right to left suppose we are taking here 1 by 2 the function value will be just here 2 if we take 1 by 3 it will be 3 if we take 1 by 4 it will be 4 1 by 10 will be 10 1 by 1000 will be 1000 1 by 10,000 will be 10,000 and so on so as we go close to 0 the function is getting close to uh, minus infinity so as we take here 1 by 10,000 it will be minus 10 10,000 so it is going it is getting close to minus infinity so in other words we can say that limit x approaches 0 positive apex is equal to minus infinity and hence it does not exist finitely so this gives the clear explanation of the case second when limit does not exist now let me take case third so here is part third the case third is when a limit x approach to a negative apex does not exist in order to understand it let me take an example fx equals 1 by x when x is sorry less than 0 let me about this x is less than 0 if we look at the graph of this function the graph of this function will be something like this this x axis this is y axis so graph will be like if we take x as minus 1 because x's are all negative so we had to take x as minus 1 minus 2 and so on negative values so when we take x as minus 1 we see that fx will be equal to 1 upon minus 1 that will be minus 1 so for minus 1 it will be minus 1 the point here and so on so the graph will be something like this line this curve here we see that if we examine limit x approach to 0 negative apex here that means we are approaching to 0 from left to right like this then we see that whenever we approach to 0 from left to right the function goes on increasing sorry decreasing and goes to minus infinity when we will take we take minus 1 by 2 it is just minus 2 we take minus 1 by 10 it will be just minus 10 here we take minus 1 by 1000 it will be just minus 1000 here and so on so as we go close to 0 the function goes on dipping 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 and goes on close to infinity 
sorry minus infinity so limit x approach to 0 negative to apex will be equal to minus infinity and hence it will not be defined it will not exist uh, finitely similarly we can take another example we can take another example as apex equals minus 1 by x x less than 0 in that case we will have a sand type of graph but on the upper side we will have a graph somewhat like this somewhat like this so in that case there will be a abrupt rise at 0 and hence the function sorry hence the limit x approach to 0 negative apex will be equal to post infinity and hence will not exist so in these two cases we saw that whenever there is an abrupt rise or an abrupt fall the limit of the function does not exist finitely so in all the three cases one two and three we saw that whenever there is a jump a gap or abrupt rise or abrupt fall in the graph then correspond to that point the limit of the function at that point does not exist but the question here is that are these the only cases where limit of the function does not exist or is there some other case where the limit of the function will not exist that I mean to say is that will there be some function w w where the graph will have neither the abrupt rise nor the abrupt fall nor a jump but still the limit will not exist at that point the answer is yes there is a case where we neither there will be the rise abrupt rise nor the fall ne neither the jump but still the limit will not exist in the next video we will show that limit of a function does not even exist if the function seems to be smooth one without jumps and without abrupt rises or falls but for that stay tuned to our channel and do not forget to subscribe thank you